Good morning, good girl. Hey, good boy. Good morning. How do you sleep? Good morning, you guys. I'm gonna show you something that is very cute. Look at this too. That's how they sleep. That's the cutest thing I have seen in weeks. Come on, chicks. I got you so food. Thank you. We are getting ready to start working on the A-frame. I got these two guys here. They have been helping me for the last few days. They are very good helpers. Uh, well, maybe I'm a helper. They are doing a big part of the job, so maybe I'm a helper. But anyway, we're getting started on this. We're working on putting together all these big beams. These are eight meters and 57 centimeters. That's the length of this thing in one of the sides. So um, Enrique over there, he went to school for welding. So he's, he's a professional and certified welder here. Um, I am the one that is cleaning stuff, grinding, and Iberto, that is in the corner, is the one that is gonna be painting. We change roles all the time. We switch roles. We try to keep it interesting all the time. So we're just like bouncing from here to here. That's that's kind of how I like it. I'm just marking the beams. Each of these beams is gonna have an extra hanging area of 80 centimeters that is gonna be hanging, sticking outside of a main framing structure for the house. Um, that is kind of like to prevent um, the water from just hitting in the wall. And also, if I just put the roof like very, very narrow to the edge there, it's not gonna look as cool as, as if I leave a little hanging area outside. I don't know, I want it to be good. We're gonna have to put some angle pieces in this side too. When we put this framing piece up, we uh, didn't have the idea of putting the angles. To put these cariolas over and just let them rest in the top of there, we just put it up. We didn't even know uh, how we were doing it, if it was the right way. But now we know that we should have put a few angle pieces, but it's okay, we can still do it. Once we are going up slowly, we can be welding these tiny little angle pieces there and then put the metal plate in the top to help it hold the entire beam. Tell me. <laughs> These guys are so funny. He's sleepy. <laughs> Roberto, te pareces a Teddy cuando tienes sueño. I think I'm being too soft with them. They are just sleeping. Levántate. Vamos a trabajar. They don't want to wake up. I'm starting to have headaches here. These beams are not the perfect shape. Um, it says it's four inches. Sometimes it's three inches and 15, 16. And it's just like, it's a tiny little difference, but when you see it, it's just like, 
I don't know, my perfect my perfectionist side is coming out now, which is not great. I should be able to accept that sometimes it, it's not gonna look 100% perfect. We got it good, looks pretty good in there. I would, I would prefer to be perfectly straight, just like one entire line that doesn't, it, that is not sagging in the middle, as it is right now. It's a tiny little bit saggy, it's just a little bit, but it's frustrating to see. <laughs> oh! <laughs> We're having a pretty good workflow. The guys are gonna keep working in there and I am gonna go do the milking. I had to change from corn to no, just leaves and some grass because we found out that the corn in big amounts could cause anemia on the goats and we can give them a handful a day but I was giving them too much. Now I'm switching to just leaves, some grass and I'm thinking on doing some vegetables later but I need to go to town to get those stuff. In the meantime, I think the leaves are gonna solve that problem. <laughs> This is how much we got today. This is probably one quarter of a liter. Um, the milk production has been dropping down during the last few days. We think it would be either that they are not getting enough food or enough water, or maybe we need to give them more minerals. We are thinking on start giving them vegetables and just make a mix for them with grass, vegetables, leaves, something like that, so they can have more nutrients and they can produce more milk. But we'll get there. Good boy! We had to take him out for a few days because he was not eating the food that we put in here. He was just getting sad. I think he was getting depressed of being just close here inside of, of his house. Um, but he's healing very well. I saw his hoof right there. Before he couldn't even stand on that leg. No, he's doing well. He's walking. He's doing pretty good. Um, I just need to keep an eye on that. We need to, to keep an eye on that and see that. He's he's doing well, uh, but they're happy in their new house. They're very happy in their, in their new house. Good morning, good boy. How are you doing? Is that a good morning kiss? I love you too. I could only take him last night. When I take the two of them, sometimes they go too crazy inside here. This space is too small and they just start running around and at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., they wake me up. And I haven't been sleeping that well, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna take one that is gonna cuddle with me and probably tonight I'm going to take it to a family again. Alright, good boy. Let's go build a house. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Kizzy. Kizzy. Get it. Let's go. Last night it was crazy raining. It was raining until, I don't know, like 1 p.m. 
and this morning it's been pretty beautiful in that side but over there is everything cloudy and it's windy we have been waiting for something that is called a mini summer for months not for months but like we're very excited about it because it's like that beautiful and sweet spot in the middle of the year that makes all this thing of going through the rainy crazy season be completely worth it we get beautiful sunsets we get beautiful sunrises and it's just like the perfect temperature all the time so we are very excited because we think that this is a signal this is a final signal for the mini summer to come i got you some food Oh no, it broke! It's broken! I think the chicken was laying the eggs here and the top, oh yeah, I see where right here and then it just rolled through this little gap so we gotta, we gotta fix that we gotta put more hay in there so that doesn't happen again we cannot be losing the eggies we need the eggies Good morning, good girl. How you doing? So, Pablo, no, no, tienes que pegas y sales con el momento así. Eso. Nothing like a good cup of coffee before starting to work. I ordered some materials and they are already here. Check this out, all these metal beams. With these, we're gonna be able to finish the roof structure for the house. This is awesome, this is amazing. We, once I have the roof up, that's gonna change many things because I can put way more time working in the inside I'm not gonna be getting wet all the time and that's just gonna be a life-changing thing. This house is looking awesome, check this out. <laughs> Today I'm the welder, so I wanted to work in a project that in involved a lot of welding. So um, we decided that it was time to put back those main supports. You may remember that we had to cut those supports uh, once we put that last framing piece up because it was just not going up and we did like several attempts and even the framing piece fell over me. So we had to cut them. But now I have a Burton Enrique and I know that it will be way easier to put those things back in there. It was heavy work. We have to jack them up in order to get them into place, but we did it. We did it. I had to put my helmet on. This means that the work is starting to get seriously. We are starting to face kind of like a little problem here. Um, I screwed up, it's completely my fault. When I put this framing piece in the middle, I didn't realize that it was not perfectly aligned with the rest of the framing pieces, with all the other ones. This one got, it's like, I would say like one and a half centimeters to the inside, so when I put this carriola in, you can see that there is like a little gap in between there. I'm not that worried about uh, this specific part over here because we have all these metal plates here that are 
attached to this beam and are holding it into place. And I'm planning on putting a tiny little metal piece in the top so it's gonna give it even more grip, more support to the structure. I screwed up here, but I still in time to fix it. These guys are making fun of me because my helmet is blue and apparently here in Panama, um, the colors of the helmets mean something. The yellow one is for the workers, uh, the white one is for engineers. El blanco era para ingenieros, ¿no? El azul para? And the blue one is for like electricity supervisor. I barely know something about electricity, but I like the blue color, so my helmet is blue. crazy how four years ago I was in high school thinking I would have a normal life. I always thought that I would just have a regular job, apply for a loan and get a house. But now, four years later, here I am building a huge house, building the house of my dreams, living the dream of my life and it's just, it's perfect. I am truly grateful for all the opportunities that I have had in my life and all the people that have come into it and helped me to grow and to be a better person. Thanks to you guys, thanks to everyone. Love you. Uh, we are getting started back on the roof. I have these guys, I have, they're gonna be helping me for a few weeks which has been awesome because I've been able to get all that. If they were not here, I would not be able to get even three of those ones up there. We're gonna be working, welding the one in the bottom over here today, and then we're gonna switch to the other side because we also have to put the other six inches carillas in between the, like, the horizontal supports that we haven't put in there yet. So we cannot continue in this side until we do that. So we have it in the other side already, so we can continue in that side. We're getting ready to start welding the last beam of the day. Well, actually the last beam of the week. We're gonna do this one and then we're gonna pick it up back on Monday. We just need to make sure that all these beams are completely straight because the roof is gonna be resting in the top of those beams and if they are not straight, then the roof is not gonna be perfectly aligned with the structure. That is what I am looking for to have this roof, this, this house. I want this house to be built in a good way, in a great way. I want to be proud at the end to say like, I built this thing and it's looking awesome.
are officially done working on the A-frame for today, for this week, I would say. We got eight of those beams going all the way up. We got five in this side and then we got three more in that other side. And we didn't just get that done. We also got seven of these long beams ready to go up. We are just waiting because we have to put the six inches one in between. We need to keep uh, working our way up with those beams so we can start placing the other beams in the top. This is awesome. The progress that we're getting now is just very good. It's going so fast with these two guys over here. They are such, such a good, good help. With the rainy season, the main goat house is turning into a slump. This is just so much mud in here and it's because of all the rain that we have every single day. I think for the last, I don't know, one month, we have been getting rain every single day. We get a few inches of rain a day and this creates this entire thing. But I gotta fix it, I have an idea. I'm gonna put some rocks in here and hopefully it's gonna help drain that water all the way down and it's gonna keep running to the jungle. We decided to finish up a little earlier on the A-frame because we wanted to put some extra time on farm chores. We are currently building a little circle around the goat house because this thing is turning into a mud thing. This thing in the front gets very watery when it rains and when you walk in here, it's just like you're basically walking in mud. So we are trying to fix it little by little. Also, I just noticed that there's a ton of mosquitoes flying around here. So I will probably burn a few pieces of wood to get rid of them. In today's episode of Living in the Wilderness, we will see what a sleepy goat looks like. That is our boy George. He's trying to take a nap. He's trying to close his eyes. He's trying to relax. He knows. He knows that there is corn somewhere in here. So he cannot go to bed. But he's trying. He's fighting it. But he finally falls. And that's how a goat goes to bed. One of the things that I need to be really careful about every time that I interact with these boys is to change my clothes right after I do that. Because if I have interactions with the female goats after it, it's gonna mess off the milk production. They produce a bad smell that smells like rotten onions, rotten garlic with, I don't know, like vinegar, some stuff like that. It smells pretty pretty bad so that smell can transfer to the females which later is going to transfer to the milk and the milk is going to taste exactly as I describe it and that is horrible so I need to be really careful with what I do and how I do it once I'm taking care of these boys and the girls at the same time all right it's shower time I think a lot of you guys don't know this but I actually have a shower in the woods it's an outdoor shower that I built almost a year ago I'll show it to you. It's just, it's right there. It's just a platform. There is the shower head. The water comes from there. And that's basically where I shower. It's nice. It's just awesome showering in here. Just having nature all around. Just having the birds. 
Sometimes when I shower in here, I can actually see the monkeys hanging from the trees around there, and it's just the best. <laughs> Once you get used to it, it's not cold anymore. Look at all this milk. One of our friends helped us build a milking station. He has worked with goats for years and he knows a lot about goats. And he helped us build this one, which is making my life so much easier now. I don't have to be just like all the time to grab the nipples and start milking them because I have a milking station. It looks beautiful. I love the color. What is this? Where's my mini summer? I want my mini summer. I, I need some sunshine. I'm exhausted. I need to get ready for next week because it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be by far the hardest week of me being here in the farm. Challenges are gonna come. Many things are gonna happen, but I'm gonna be here doing my best. Love you guys. Thanks a lot for your support. You guys are absolutely the best. I'll see you soon.